And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Summer return to Northeast Wisconsin today. Not only did we have some thunderstorms, we also had some warm temperatures. Look at this. Just about everybody getting up into the lower 80s today. Our warmest day in about a week and a half. But don't get used to those 80s. Much cooler weather returns tomorrow. Highs will only be in the 60s to around 70. Close to 70 on Friday, mid 70s on Saturday. And then we will warm up again as we move into Sunday and Monday. Right now, there are no 80s left over from what we saw this afternoon. We are looking at rain cooled 60s across all of Northeast Wisconsin. There's the sunshine and then here comes the rain. The temperature dropped about 15 degrees as the thunderstorms move through. Storm Shield radar showing that line of thunderstorms working steadily south throughout the afternoon and that continues this evening. Right now the bulk of the thunderstorm activity has shifted south of the NBC 26 viewing area but still a few rumbles of thunder and some pockets of heavier rain from Sheboygan through Fond du Lac back towards Princeton, Marcusan and also Montello. Now these thunderstorms did produce a little bit of severe weather. We had a report of a tree down in the Oshkosh area, several reports of hail including a report of one inch diameter hail in Grand Chute and we also had a report of golf ball size hail actually covering the ground about three miles north of Shyocton. Now whether you saw severe weather or not, you did see a little bit of lightning and you heard some thunder and you can clearly see that here on Lightning, uh, lightning Track 26 as this line of thunderstorms continues to track to the south ahead of our main weather maker, which is a cold front. Out ahead of that cold front today, temperatures made it up into the 80s. To the north of it, though, temperatures were only in the 50s and 60s, and that cooler weather is moving back into northeast Wisconsin with a gusty northeast wind tomorrow. High temperatures will struggle through the 60s. Here's a look at Skycast showing a mixture of clouds and sunshine throughout the morning, gradually turning mostly sunny as we move into the evening, which sets the stage for just a great game at Lambeau. No threat of thunderstorms like we had for family night or for the first preseason game. It's going to be sunny and quiet at kickoff with mid 60s, but look at that fourth quarter temperature already dropping down into the 50s and that sets the stage for tomorrow night in the Friday morning. It's going to be chilly once again. Some patchy frost as possible Friday morning north and west of the Fox Valley by the afternoon with lots of sunshine. We will see temps back up into the 60s to around 70 degrees. So tonight, patchy clouds, lows in the lower 50s. Tomorrow, look for pockets of clouds, probably mostly cloudy at times during the morning, then turning mostly sunny. It's going to be much cooler than what we saw today. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 68. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to growing Oshkosh, and we did that today. I forecast 81, and the actual high temperature was 81. Beautiful on Friday, lots of sunshine, close to 70. Increasing clouds on Saturday with a good chance of showers and thunderstorms by afternoon. Warming up on Sunday, highs in the lower 80s, still in the lower 80s for Labor Day. Then a cold front moves through Labor Day afternoon or evening, kicking off some showers and thunderstorms, and behind that, turning much cooler again as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, nice and dry tomorrow for the Packers game. Looks fantastic. Good deal. Well, tonight on NBC 26 